Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, November the 16th, 2018, and this is episode 2901. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Honey Boo Boo. Stay tuned. Honey Boo Boo. (laughs) What could this episode be all about? Now, first of all, let me just put your mind at ease and say, this is not going to be a podcast about <laughs> a crazy TV show called Honey Boo Boo. Instead, we're going to take some wisdom from Solomon in Proverbs this morning and and talk a little bit about it. You know, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. You know, uh, you've all heard the bed, a bedtime prayer, Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep if I should die before I wake. I pray to thee, my soul might take, or how about this? Now I lay me down to bed with too much candy I've been fed. If I should die before I wake, I come to thee with a tummy ache. (laughs) Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Listen to what Proverbs chapter 25 verse 27 says. It is not good to eat much honey. Now I love honey. And we always have honey here. And I use honey on my oatmeal. Uh, When I'm off at a coffee shop, I'll use honey in my tea or honey in coffee. But Solomon said it's not good to eat much honey. And then here's the key. It's an illustration. So let me read the whole verse to you. It is not good to eat much honey. So to seek one's own glory is not glory Luke 14:11 says for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled and the one who humbles himself will be exalted let another praise you and not your own mouth a stranger and not your own lips i've discovered that a little honey goes a long way um, its sweetness is amazing a small amount can satisfy your taste and your appetite, but too much honey and you can get sick. In the very same way, Solomon is saying, if you're desiring or seeking praise from men and women in order to bring yourself more glory, that's not glory. It can be nauseating and shameful. Now, Solomon uses this knowledge of honey sweetness to point out the ambition that some have to seek their own praise. And these words are helpful for us today. We live in an artificial generation, right? People are addicted to dextrose, fructose, glucose, lactose, maltose, sucrose, corn syrup, all other kinds of sweeteners which stimulate rather than satisfy the appetite. When did you last eat some honey? But to the informed, honey is a luxurious food that God created for your benefit. I mean, think about it. The promised land was a land flowing with milk and honey. The manna that God gave to Israel, it tasted like wafers made with honey. Honey is sweet. It's twice as sweet as sugar. Now, seeking compliments, praise, or the glory of others is just as foolish as gorging yourself on honey. I want to encourage you today. Examine yourself in the mirror of Scripture. Ask God to show you, Lord, am I seeking personal glory here or am I living my life for your glory so don't make 
the Honey Boo Boo today. Father, thank you so much for the wisdom of your word, for the practical understanding that it gives us. And Lord, it really doesn't matter what others say about us today as much as it matters what your thoughts about us are. So help us to exalt you. Help us to reflect your glory to the others that we come in contact with today. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Have a great weekend. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.